Hey everybody, here we are with a different motorcycle game. This would be MX vs. ATV Untamed. So this one would have been the one, the title right before MX vs. ATV Reflex came out. It it was the last, basically this MX vs. ATV and the two before it were very similar and their styles and their handling and everything. And then MX vs. ATV Reflex came out and changed it you know, 180 degrees, night and day difference. But this is basically what the games would have been like before. So let's do that. Let's do Nationals. And I haven't played this game in in years, actually, to be honest with you. Um, so I don't even really remember the controls. They're a lot different than Reflex. I'm trying to remember which one I could be halfway decent at, maybe, and put on Copper Valley. I think I remember being not bad. Exhibition, three laps, and I'm gonna leave it on beginner. Or well, we can do junior at least. Or let's do novice. Let's just do novice and continue. <clears throat> Single. Uh, let's do MX, 12 riders. And start the event. So here we go. I don't really know what to expect. Um, but yeah, basically you can tell it's just one joystick you use. What's the gas? Gas is the truth. It's, it's just the left joystick is what drives it. The other one will like change the view of the bike and everything. And down up is preload. And obviously you can get a whole lot of preload there. MX vs ADV Reflex, you don't have so much preload. You can pull back on the joystick and whatnot. But that's about it. They don't have an actual dedicated preload button. It's like scrubbing is different and whatnot, but let's get into this. There's a the clutch. Not a bad start. But this this could be kinda tough. <laughs> like I said, it's been a very long time. No preload on that. I'm gonna try no preload on this. Preload. Oh yeah, I think we need to preload on that big boy. The 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 turning is very, very tight. It doesn't take much to get you where you need to be. Oh my. And then you lose all your momentum, you're screwed for the next section. Oh my gosh! Okay, I don't think we're gonna get this. Oh, stretch it out! Oh my, hard landing. Yeah, so you can tell the difference between this and MX vs. ATV Reflex. You can definitely, definitely see a difference. Oh my, I don't think I need to preload on that. Oh. Okay, turn this corner. I mean, this track seems brand new to me, basically. It's been so long since I played. No preload. Do we want to preload on this? I'm not going to. Jump up onto the table. Oh, we're off the track. Oh no! Now we're not first. That's okay, guys. We can make it up. I mean... The rider himself doesn't look a whole lot different. I mean, the it's farther away. That the the rider and the bike, the scale of it's a lot smaller. Oh my! Than it is in Reflex, but the rider actually doesn't look a whole lot different. The bike does the handling, the mechanics, basically everything else in this game is different. The tracks are different. Um, hop down there. Make this corner. Drops off. Yeah, I still kind of remember this track, actually. So that tells you one thing, that I play this game a lot, a lot, a lot. Because after years of not playing, I still kind of remember this game. I'm not going to preload on this. But then I think... I don't know if you have to preload on this. I'm not going to. No, you don't need to preload on that. Got a one second lead. Man, novice setting is hard. And the whole time I had this game, I don't think I ever maxed the setting out on it. 
Like, I never played on the absolute hardest. Ah, uh, you need to do that on that. I, like, I've never maxed out the hardest setting on it. Reflex, you know, on all time, if you're good on the track, it's really not that bad. It's not that hard. And easy or whatever is, is just ridiculous. Okay, let's jump up there. There, we got that one. I didn't really get that, but we're going to preload this really hard right here. And we still didn't get it. Oh, hard. Oh, shoot. Come on. We're losing too much ground now. Little preload. Oh, that wasn't a little preload. That was a big preload. Okay. This is a fun section, though. Even for an older game, this is this is still fun. But, well, you know, once you play Reflex or Alive, it's difficult to come back to this game. You know, over the years, they have changed it. I still think the first one was better than the second one, or this one even. But that's just me. That's just what I think. But, obviously, Reflex is the best one. Alive's good too, but I think Reflex is the best one. Reload. Not a bad game. But, you can tell it's it's dated. It's aged. Reload that. Remember this. I mean, I suppose this, to me, looks like it's probably a sandy track, basically. What a sandy track would be. And you know what they are in Reflex. You know, I just put up a video of freaking Sugar Ridge. Oh my god. So, you know how I feel about sandy track. You can't feel this. You know, the terrain doesn't change. Whether you're riding in sand, snow, loamy dirt, rock hard clay, you know, whatever, it doesn't change. It basically feels the same. The one thing that I like about Reflex better than this game, though, obviously, I mean a lot of things, but one major one would be that there's no preload. You know, just yank back on the joystick a little bit and call it good. I think that was nice to get rid of that dedicated up down preload button oh like that see it's, it's hard to oh my god it's hard to preload just a little bit the first MX vs ATV had you could use the d-pad and that's all I use I played against a lot of people you know in person and they had to use the joystick had to use it we're gonna switch up this line a little bit here had to use the joystick oh we got it had to use the joystick and I stuck with the D-pad, and with the D-pad, you could actually kind of control your preload. Ooh, we got it. You could actually control your preload a lot better. You know, you could do a little bit or a lot. With the joystick, I, it's tough. It's either all or nothing, and I didn't preload on that table. And I'm not going to preload on this one either. Oh my god. Okay, so you can't lean back that far. When you fall off your motorcycle. Four second lead. Like I always say, as long as we don't mess up, I think we got this in the bag. You know, now after playing a couple laps, jump on, jump down, preload, double, a little much. I don't even know if we would have needed to preload there, but, you know, after playing this two, three laps, it all came back to me now, basically. I mean, I'm still not world class at it, but, you know. You play a game enough, no preload, you play a game enough, it's like tying your shoes. It just comes back to you. You know what I mean? I wonder if we can get a preload off this. Yes, we can. You can pretty much jump anything, but... Oh, shoot. You know what, we're just gonna roll it instead of case it. I don't know, casing it and losing all your momentum, I don't think it's any faster than just slowing down and being smart about it and rolling it. Jump the double, come around the corner, left-hander, do straight, drop down, round out this nice bull turn, go way outside over here. Carry your speed, I'm not going to preload on this. Get up on top, really round this outside, carry as much momentum as you can, boom! Cleared it easy have almost an eight second lead when it's all said and done. Eight second lead. Can we get nine seconds? Nine seconds. I can live with that. So not bad. Not bad at all. Um, 
So it was a lot of fun. It was actually kind of fun coming back to this and seeing what it was like. Like I said, it's been so long since I played it. Years. You know, I kind of forgot what it, what it was like to play a motorcycle game outside of MX vs. ATV Reflex. So there's a nice little comparison. You can kind of take, you know, go back to Reflex and then come to Untamed here and see what you think and notice the differences and whatnot. But I hope you guys enjoyed the, the little throwback here. And if you did, hitting that like button would be amazing. Subscribing would be fantastic. Adding your favorites, leaving a comment, sharing the video, whatever it is that you guys do that's so awesome and makes you so incredibly awesome. So, if you like this, leave me a comment, and maybe I can bring you some more in the future here. But until we come back, I will see you in the next video then. Alright, take it easy.